darlings and welcome back to my channel okay so here i have just received the makeup revolution uh products which i'm really excited about so i'm going to do an unboxing and then i will show you uh me applying the product and then i'm going to going to do a wear test throughout the day so woo okay so i've just took it out of the packaging and it is wrapped in bubble wrap so let's have a look And here we are. So I've got a pressed powder. This is specifically to go on top of the concealer. So all of the areas that I will be highlighting and kind of baking, I'm going to use this powder. And here is the concealer. Nice pretty packaging. As I've said many times before that Makeup Revolution is my favourite uh, low budget brand. I just absolutely amazing. So there's that. And then my favorite but it's just about to run out so i bought a new one is this pro fix oil control fixing spray so there they are so apparently these are to rival the kylie jenner ones and that it was only four pounds so i'm looking forward to trying it out so i realized i didn't show you the shades that i got so this is c6 and they run from c1 to c18 so i got that one and then this powder they had a pink one uh, like a pink undertone but this is the translucent one okay guys so i was just about to talk about the packaging and this has happened and i'm so disappointed and i know it's not to do with the product that we are discussing today but the back mirror this was just on here and it's just fallen off so i'm always honest on my reviews and my videos so you know even though it's not about this i just thought i would show you that the mirror has come off now i have bought one of these powders before um, and that didn't happen, so I'm disappointed about that. So as you can see, it's just completely come off. Um, so yeah, so that happened. Um, apart from that, that's how it opens up. And then you have the sponge at the back, which I never use. Um, and it says Revolution. So I'm really disappointed about that, considering I've literally just got it through the post and just opened it. Um, so yes. But anyway, back to the product that we are talking about. Uh, it is Rose Gold. You can see what it looks like here. Really pretty. And then if you do it this way, you can see how it definitely looks like the Kylie ones. Okay guys, so I have applied my foundation. I have had a complete uh, mess up and I have run out of my favorite everyday foundation. That is just my all time favorite. Is It is the perfect shade and I have run out so I'm wearing this orangey shade which is actually just one that I found rooting around um, and it's one of my summer shades from last year so that's why it's a couple of shades darker than my neck so I'm well aware that it is completely the wrong shade but I'm hoping that by the time I finish my makeup it will all blend out and you won't be able to tell um, yeah the dog's doing something crazy so just ignore him okay so <clears throat> let's get the wand here we have the wand, it is a doe foot and it's quite fat, so let's see how we get on. It's coming a little bit, I'm using my, oh, wow, oh lord, oh, wow, I was just about to say I'm using my uh, new professional light that I got. Okay, this is quite thick, very thick actually. It seems to be, I feel like it's going to be full coverage. You have to excuse me because I'm using the monitor to um, apply it. So probably not the best idea, but never mind. Okay, so, wow. Use the back of it. Honestly, I just feel like, I don't know if you can see, but it just, I've got a feeling it's going to be full coverage. So that's that applied. Now I'm going to blend it out using my uh, KKW Beauty Kabuki brush. Let's see how we get on. This is what I always use to blend my under eye concealer. It's actually really good for that. I use it every single day. I've used it every day since I got the brush. So I love it. Okay. Seems to be blending nicely. I'm going to get back to you once I've done it. 
Okay guys, so now I have applied it under the eyes, T-zone, uh, chin, and set it with the powder, and I really like it. It's definitely full coverage, and little goes a long way. I absolutely love it. It's not caking, creasing, or anything like that. Obviously, I need to finish my makeup and see how I get on throughout the day, but so far, so good. Okay, so this is the finished result. I absolutely love it. Uh, I actually think so far, this is my favorite concealer that I've ever used. It is full coverage, it covers absolutely everything, it is brightening, I absolutely love it, and yeah, so far so good. I did set my face with uh, setting spray, that's what I usually do, but there's no caking, it just looks absolutely flawless and smooth, so that's great so far. Okay, so it's now been three hours, and it is still looking fantastic. I have a bit of shine to the face. I'm not going to be touching up my face all day. So obviously now my lip colors come off. I've just had lunch, um, but my skin is still looking amazing apart from the shine, but I always get that anyway, but there's no breaking apart with the makeup. It hasn't gone patchy. Uh, it hasn't creased or anything like that. So yeah, looking good. Okay everyone, so it is now nine hours later. Um, I'm not at my house, so uh, I don't have my magic new light, um, but I'll stand underneath the overhead light. That might be a bit much. Um, okay, so here is what it looks like after nine hours. My face is obviously very shiny. I have not topped up my makeup at all. I haven't repowdered, I haven't blotted, I've done nothing. Um, and I think it looks pretty good hi everyone so this is my final check-in I'm at my friend's house so different background different surroundings I don't have my beauty light with me or my new professional light that I now film with but um, I am sat underneath the light in her living room having a little glass of rosé um, and I just thought I would do a final check-in as it is nearly bedtime and I've had this on since this morning so pretty much 12 hours um, and I just wanted to show you, I have not topped up my makeup, done anything to my face all day. As you can see, I've got absolutely nothing on my lips. Um, yeah, so I hope this lighting is okay, but this is kind of the best it's going to get, really. Um, but yes, I do have shine on my face, but obviously that's nothing to do with the product. That is just my skin. My skin gets very shiny throughout the day. Usually I would have, you know, added a little bit of powder, you know, topped up my makeup. Um but I haven't done that because I wanted to see how this would last. And honestly, I don't have anything bad to say. I honestly don't have anything bad to say. If I had topped up a little bit of powder um, under here and just in my T-zone area, my makeup would still look flawless. So it's just the shine that is the issue. Um, it's amazing coverage, it's full coverage, <clears throat> excuse me, for four pounds, it's amazing absolutely amazing um i would sorry i thought i could hear a noise uh yeah so for four pounds it's absolutely incredible and i definitely would like to do a wear test with it versus another brand so if you'd like to see that give this video a thumbs up comment below maybe a really high-end brand on one side and then this product on the other just to see how it wears because for me this is absolutely amazing whether it's four pounds or 34 pounds i think it's incredible i think it's absolutely fantastic it's genuinely now become my favorite under eye concealer. I think it's fantastic. Um, so yeah, that's all I have to say about it. Um, I really, really like it actually. So yeah. So yeah, <laughs> that's all I have to say. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. This is the first time I've done a kind of wear test type of video um, and filmed it in this way. So if you like that format, give this video a thumbs up so that I can do some more in the future. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all again soon. Bye.